but it's not surprising. Um, Israel is treated with a double standard. I mean, could you imagine on 9-11? <laughs> and keep in mind, October 7th was Israel's 9-11. Yeah, that's right. If, if not worse, when you look at it in a per capita basis. But could you imagine us being hit on 9-11 and the world community turning around and telling us to you know, restrain ourselves <laughs> instead of condemning the people that attacked us on 9-11? I mean, it, there was a peace treaty prior to October the 7th, and Hamas broke it, and Israel has every right – as would any sovereign nation, the United States included, to root out terrorism within its own territory and borders. And the fact that Israel's hands are constantly being tied either by the Biden administration or by the world community, it just demonstrates that Israel always is treated somehow by a different set of rules in comparison to the rest of the world, and it's detestable. But at the same time, it's not surprising prophetically because Zechariah twice, chapter 12, verse 3, and chapter 14, verse 2, clearly indicates that the world, every nation, will turn against Jerusalem and Israel. And so this um, treating Israel with a different set of gloves is just an outworking of that prophecy. Moral indignation, yes. Uh, shock and surprise prophetically, no, we should expect this kind of thing.